Okay. Here we got us a new game of Netrunner. I was watching the Team Covenant live stream from their Netrunner meetup, chatting with the people in the Twitch TV chat room. They recognized my name, and they said, Hey, why don't you put up a game before you go to bed? And I said, Well, let me look at my folder, see if I have a good one. Looked in my folder, and I found this one. This one's pretty interesting. It's from a meetup, New York City uh, Netrunner meetup, uh, from Friday, October 11th. On the left, Jinteki Personal Evolution. On the right, there's me playing this crazy Andromeda deck that I came up with. Uh, oh, I can't take full credit for it. Someone else um, sort of gave... Well, anyway, I got the, this big idea from the internet, and then uh, I sort of realized, hey, I can, I can just take a piece of that idea from the internet and actually make a real deck around it. Um, deck's still not not really that great. It's It's got some problems. Uh, but the basic mechanism is there. Uh, and as soon as I free, polish the ratios of, of how many different cards go in there, I think it has potential to be dangerous. Uh, I, I just don't know. I don't know if it can win any tournaments, but it's, it's a blast. He doesn't care about cutting my cards. Okay. Here we go. Uh, drawing nine cards is so awesome. The real benefit of the nine card draw is if you have a deck that revolves around a particular combo with the mulligan, it's like you're going to get the combo as long as it's a two carder, right? So the more, the more two card combos come into the game, uh, the more Andromeda will be powerful. As long as they're not like combos of Shaper plus Anarch cards. Okay, Jinteki, what are you going to do? Install some Neural Katanas? I bet you are. I bet you are. That's right. Hmm, protect an HQ and R&D. Sometimes I try to think about the psychology. Like, he put the ice in front of HQ first. Is he signaling, uh, you know, subconsciously that HQ is loaded with agendas? And why ice up a remote on the turn one? I guess you can install immediately the next turn. He doesn't need that much money to res. Okay, so I dirty laundry archives twice. I just got to get money and empty out my hand. All right, John Masanori, you are the champ. He has to read John Masanori. If you're the for those of you who don't know, the first time you make a successful run a turn, John Masanori lets you draw a card. I should have actually installed him earlier. Oh no, I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to draw a card and go over the hand uh, and have to discard something from my hand. Uh, and the first time you make an unsuccessful run each turn, you get a tag. So it is possible to draw a card and get a tag on the same turn with John Masanori if you make a successful run and then an unsuccessful one. Uh, and then because I'd made successful runs uh, on a central server using those dirty laundries and archives, I was able to install this Data Leak Reversal. So you can see here this, this combo... You run a server. If the corp ends the run on you, you get a tag. See, I ran archives. I jacked out. I got a tag because that was an unsuccessful run. I milled two cards from R&D with data leak reversal, and then I paid to remove the tag. See, so if he's got an empty server somewhere, I can just do that. If he's got an end the run ice facing outwards, I can just do that. Uh, and if he doesn't end the run on me, let's say I run and he doesn't try to end my run by, you know, resing the ice or whatever, I get in. So it's basically, look, your choice, your life, your choice. You let me into the server that I'm running, allowing me to do whatever I'm going to do in there, or I mill two cards, and I run. I ran on click one, so it's two cards are going to get milled, and I'm only going to basically pay two credits. It's like, yeah, well, I'll pay... <laughs> I'll, I'll gladly mill two cards a turn. That is, that is awesome. So... With Andromeda, three John Masanoris, three Data Leak Reversals, maybe some hostages to let you get a John Masanori. Uh, the odds of getting this thing out right away are really good. Oh, he's Jackson Howarding already, so that, that really hurts me, right? That's a whole turn and a half of milling uh, that's defeated uh, just by him playing that card. Okay, so I 
get a bank job, and we discussed this, and I was apparently misinformed. Uh, I don't. I'm, I'm really. Do, I, sh- I forgot to look up the rule on this, but I figured if I run that server, I know if he uses Jackson Howard, the server no longer exists. But it was under my understanding that that would still count as an unsuccessful run, which would allow me to get the tag for John Massinori. See, I, I know I couldn't score the bank job if the server disappears because I need the run to be successful. But I thought that it would be unsuccessful, letting me mill too. You know, see, this creates that catch-22 situation. If you let me into the server, bank job. You don't let me in, mill too. Um, but apparently we discussed it, and they said that, yeah, it's neither successful nor unsuccessful. That's what we decided at the time. Uh, I just accepted the ruling of two people, um, so I went with it. I'm going to look that up for sure. If anyone knows the right answer, post it in the comments. So since the run was neither successful nor unsuccessful, I didn't get my bank job, I didn't get my John Masanori, so I played my sure gamble. He Jackson Howard did 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 did. Yeah, he really needs Jesus to save him from this uh, milling action. Yeah, I don't care about cutting your cards, dude. You didn't cheat. All right, I do care. Guess I got gonna determine what I'm gonna mill. Install. Advance? Advance? Come on, advance. Do something. Take your money. Okay. He's got nine. Looks like I've got ten. Oh, he, he threw a card into archives. Okay. Yeah, it's not it's not an upgrade in archives or an installed card. That is that is a face down card in archives. Very awesome. Now a run. Yes, I can break your sentries one time. Oh, a data mine. Yeah, you can hit me with that if you want. I don't care. That is a. Uh, what did I write on there? Yeah, for my proxies, I have these white cards, and I just write on them with a sharpie and put them in a sleeve. Uh, I think that might be daily casts. All right, so I bank jobbed instead of accessing that face down shady card there. And I got to draw a card. Because John Massinori, right? That was a successful run. Did I draw the card? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't look carefully. Look at the video. I should have drawn a card from that successful run for free. Places the data mine with something else. Man, everyone's got to read that John Massinori. It's the new hot card, huh? Everyone's checking it out. Seeing what the deal is. See, he's even, even if you're not doing this weird data leak reversal thing, he's still just really good. Just If you don't make unsuccessful runs, it's like, yeah, you can just get all these free card draws, which is awesome against Jinteki, because Jinteki mostly lets you in. It's like, oh, access R&D, and oh, draw card. You save so many clicks from those draws. And it doesn't overlap with pro context either. 
it's great to use it with Desperado because you'd be like, you could like basically once a turn, you could be like, I'll run archives, and you'll get your credit, and you'll draw a card, and that's like you got to run, and in addition to the run, you get a free pro contacts once a turn. Okay, so here's my Desperado and a Fem, Fem and R and D, run an R and D. Is he going to res that? Nope. All right, so I'm accessing. See, I got to draw a card from John Masanori because that was a successful run. And I'll use my last click to draw another card. I like the theme of this, right? Think about, you know, the story that's being told here. Okay, so I'm Andromeda. Ooh. John Masanori thinks he's some hot shit hacker, right? And he thinks I like him, but really, he's, I know he's a dumbass. But I'm counting on him to be a dumbass. I'm basically having him do all this work for me, making these runs. And when he's successful, well, it, it helps me out. He actually did a good job. It's like, oh, good job, John. Wow, you actually didn't fuck up for once. Uh, and when he screws up, it's like, well, that's okay. I had this daily reversal installed on his ass. So he gets tagged, and... Um, you know, I mill two cards out of the corp, and then I ditch the tag. And ideally, I would get a crash space. And think about that. It's like, oh, John Masanori screwed up. I'll just hide in my crash space until it blows over. Did a really good job in this game, making the, the cyberpunk theme fit with the uh, the game mechanics. Okay, running R&D again, making use of my fem. Got in, got to draw a card because of John Masanori. Got a credit for my Desperado, and it's something I'm putting back. And as a Plascrete, you know these Jintekis like to play Scorched Earth, so putting down my Plascretes. And then I'll draw a card. And play sure again. Gotta take another look at John Masanori. He's just he's just too weird, huh? <laughs> Alright, Jinteki, I know you're advancing something back there. You can advance it some more. He is gonna advance it some more. It's Oh, priority wreck. Oh, crap. Three points. I was thinking feet lay eye. He's resin that for free. It's a neural katana. I guess that's the strongest thing he's got out there. So I'll pay one credit every time if I want to get in. But see, that's the thing is I can't like run R&D looking for the unsuccessful run, right? Which is why I haven't been milling lately, because... To mill, I need the unsuccessful run, but if the frontmost ice on a server is nasty, like a neural katana, and I get hit by it, well, that's not a good deal. I need an end the run, just a boring end the run ice out front, or something like an enigma even is, is kind of okay. All right, running R&D, paying one to get in now. Oh, I got my own priority wreck. What's that? Tie game. Tie game. Yeah. I think that fake card might have been a Plascreet. Oh, I ran R&D again, and I got the snare. Wah, wah, wah. Tag genius. Yeah, that was all part of you know, it was all part of a maker's eye, actually, I think, which is why I saw the three cards. Um, you know, the priority wreck, the snare, and the other one. Okay, so I got tagged from the snare, so I took the opportunity to mill a card. <laughs> Um, while I was tagged 
right? Sort of like, yeah, you snare me, fine, I mill you, and then I'll remove that tag. It's annoying, you have to keep removing the tag, even if you have Plascretes, because otherwise they'll just trash your daily reversal or in your time Masanori. And then if you'll get more of them, which is not good, it's better to, to remove the tag and keep it on the table. Whoa, wobbly camera. Yeah, the table I had the camera on was a little wobbly. Sometimes we tried to avoid bumping it, but I had my credits on that table too, so... Okay, click one, click two, is taking money, money. Oh no, he's playing Celebrity Gift. Show me a hand. He showed me his hand off the camera. <laughs> okay. And he got a pile of money because of it. Well, we can see that, uh, I think the hand, yeah, Fetal AI snare, I think it was a bunch of neural EMPs in there. And uh, Jackson Howard, I think that's what the hand was. It was like Jackson Howard, neural EMP, Fetal AI snare, it was, it was not a hand you wanted to run. It's got one click left, because it takes two clicks to do Celebrity Gift. Install. Well, I know what that could be. There's many possibilities. Ran R&D. That looked like a scorched earth to me. I let him put that back. You might think a fem token on a neural katana is sort of silly, but you know, hey, that's it's like saves you two credits every single time you run it. That's good, real good deal. I'm also running R and D a little more fearlessly now. I've seen a snare in his hand, and I've been hit by a snare, so. Tilly Jackson Howard's again to put the snares back in the deck, like people like to do. But I'm not afraid of R&D as much. I mean, if I have three cards in my hand, then I have a click left and two credits. What do I care? If I get, you know... Okay, R&D interface, yes. Cost a lot of money. Running R and D, get to draw a card because of John Massinori. Oh, it's a corporate war. It looks like, and he gets my corroder. Dang it! I think I've only got one in the deck. <laughs> I think that's my only one, and I don't think I have any way to get it back either. Okay, easy mark. Get some monies back. Did I see two cards in that R&D run? I was supposed to. With my R&D interface. That's a good... Hmm. That's the problem with... I'm, I'm watching this video and narrating it once. It's like I don't rewind and go back and take a look and see what happened. Oh, he scores a feed lay Ow, in the face. Oh. I think that's my only code game breaker. <laughs> this is the problem with this deck, is that I don't think there's any room for these, um, uh, for more copies of Icebreakers, and there's also no influence or room for any cards that'll help me get them back out of the trash. <laughs> it's like, I'm trying to fit one levy in there. I don't know. Run R&D. Oh, 
Okay, this time my R&D interface is working. Didn't see anything worthwhile. But I paid a credit, got it back from Desperado, got to draw a card. So it's like I got to see two cards from R&D, and cost me no credits, effectively. And I got to draw a card for free. And draw sure gamble. This whole mechanism is pretty good right here. And it's f oh no, that's not a uh, corporate war. I think it's a false lead, right? I think that is a false lead. What am I thinking? So the score is f five to four. He's winning. Checking out that remote. Nice. He's got something in the remote, which I assume is Hokusai Grid. He's throwing that ice away, putting a new one. Nope, I have a fairy, so I guess he could res a wall of thorns on me, in which case I would mill twice <laughs> and remove the tag. Okay, run R&D. First click. Nothing. Boring. But I got my John Masanori and my Desperado. Easy mark. Oh crap, he's protecting R&D even more. And I've only got Century Breakers. That's awesome. Not. Putting something new in the remote. Is he going advance, advance? I'll take credit. Take money? Okay. Put something in the remote and take money. Mm. Yep, I'm just going to go to R&D. He reses new ice. It is pop-up window. Sure. <laughs> I'll take it. I end the run. And I mill two cards. See? You don't have to pay the credit for pop-up window. Just boom, end the run, mill two, remove tag. Mm, he's looking at all the cards I've milled. I probably should run archives and check those out. The thing is that, you know, smashing my face into the pop-up window to mill two is okay, but it does give him a credit, which is not ideal. Setting up a new server, what is this?
Crypsis saving the day. I don't care what ice you have, Jinteki. I just don't care. I will take care of it. And I'm running. Even though my Crypsis has no virus counter. Will he res? Will he res? Nerokatana. Well, I gotta break it. I'll use my fairy. Cost me one measly credit. Will I access? Nope. Oh, I do access. It's a Ronin. And I got a Desperado, and I got a John Masanori, and I trash his Ronin. Cool. Crypsis is still on the table, threatening everything. Running R&D, getting in. Seeing two cards in my RD interface, nothing good. And using my last click to run archives, I think. Why do I? Yeah, I guess I can run that on the last click. It's safe. Himitsubako, that will keep me out. Oh, I guess I should have technically taken a tag there from John Masanori. Yeah, see, this is. It is hard to keep track of this. Oh no, I did get the tag from it. Did get we did keep track of it properly. That was my first unsuccessful run that turn because I ran the Ronin, I ran R and D. Those are successful, so I only drew one card from Masanori, and then when I ran Archives, that was unsuccessful. So I got that tag. He could trash my stuff. He trashed, he did, he trashed John Masanori. Oh, my Masanori. Okay, a new turn, a new day. Click one, a new John Masanori. <laughs> Click two, remove day. All right, no money. I am broke ass. Draw a card the hard way. And take a credit the hard way. That hurt. I really need to save that Crypsis for the archives run. Uh oh, new server. So click one, take a credit, I think. Click two, draw a card. Click three, Katie Jones. Click four, put money on Katie Jones. Okay, this will help me get my monies back. Because I'm broke. So I think this is like the first time in a while he's drawn cards from R&D without me seeing them first. Because I was controlling that. Uh, Install advance, advance. That's the move. Well, he's got five, so he could win with that. That's not good. What am I going to do? I have to empty Katie Jones now because, well, <laughs> I have to empty Katie Jones now. Take two more credits. 
and Maker's Eye. So it's two, two to get in, I get one back, and I'm going to see a whole bunch of cards. See those two credits I saved? I needed those for that fetal AI. Six points. Who cares about the pile of damage? Doesn't matter to me. More cards. Let me see them. Come on, just anything. Come on, just any agenda. That's not a fetal AI. I mean, come on. Ah, oh, come on. Anything? No, no. Dang it. Ah. Oh. No. No. I should have won on that run. Just anything. Oh, it's his turn now. And. Uh, uh, uh. It's. No, oh, I lose. No. No, it's a fetal AI. No, I lost. No. Dang it. Well, that deck was unsuccessful. Uh, maybe if I would have actually not lost that corroded and net damage and installed it, I would have gotten past the Himitsubako. Uh, maybe there were points in the archives, could have won me the game right there. Um, I don't know. But yeah, uh, it's way fun to... Oh, you looked through the archives? I guess he didn't show me if there was a gender in there. Um, yeah, it's just way fun to create this sort of catch-22 situation, right, for the corp. It's like, let me into your server, and I will, you know, trash... Uh, I will get in there, right? You don't want me to get in, period. Don't let me into your server? Fine. You mill two cards if you don't let me into your server. Um, you know. It's, it's, what's the corpse supposed to do, right? I guess they can Jackson Howard only so many times. Uh, and, you know, if they're letting me in, I can, I can get those Jackson Howards. I can trash them. He was pretty lucky getting them out in this game. Um, but yeah, if you think about it, even if I mill a whole bunch of cards... Uh, the ability to just pick three out and put them back in R&D. It's like, well, yeah, the three agendas in there? Yeah, and how many times do I have to run archives? You know, it's like, it's like mill and run archives immediately before you have a chance to Jackson Howard anything. That's a huge pain in the butt. Waste all those clicks running archives all the time. Anyway, uh, fun times. Uh, enjoy your net running.